Coach Calero here with my weekly segment of High Five with Coach Calero. Top notch interviewer I am. Five questions for Dylan Royer, junior sharpshooter out of local Melbourne oh. area. Low socials. We like to keep that okay. Okay, the world wants to know about your facial hair. Sometimes you're kind of hairy, sometimes you're not so hairy. What's your shaving routine? Uh, it's, it's kind of a, a day to day thing, you know, however I feel. Uh, some days, I want to be clean cut, some days maybe a little rugged, but uh, either way, feel the same or play the same. Okay, well, so, so you, don't, you, don't, you don't shave if you've had a good night, you don't, it doesn't change, there's any reason why when you decide to shave, there's certain days that you absolutely do shave? Uh, some days I really feel like uh, shaving will renew me. If I'm feeling coming off a, a poor practice or game, sometimes I'll, I'll get a haircut and shave. I'll really make sure I'm extra clean cut and that it'll, I'll feel good. Okay. Well, let's get off the hair and let's get into some academics here. Uh, tell us about your most challenging class you've ever had at Cal Poly. Now, you've got some tough ones, but what's the most yeah. challenging and why? When were you sweating bullets? Definitely uh, organic chemistry. That class is unlike any other class I've ever taken. The amount of studying and uh, memorization that's required is is unreal, but uh, I made it through and I still have two more, so I'll have to power through those as well. Okay, so let's get rid of school. That's over. Let's go back to thinking back to when you're 10 years old. Question number three, when you were 10 years old, what dreams did you have? Who were you thinking about emulating? What were your dreams, you know, who were your idols 10 years old? Definitely Michael Jordan. He, when I was uh, 10, see that was like uh, year 2000, he had just, uh, just retired from the Bulls, about to come back on the Wizards, and my entire room was covered with Michael Jordan stuff. So it's not true, it wasn't Mike Wozniak, it was Michael Jordan. Because Mike As Wozniak I, seems to think that he was the guy that, that you were emulating. Once I matured and realized I was not a Michael Jordan type player, <laughs> Mike Wozniak became my, my new hero in terms of, I played just like him when I was younger, and he was, you know, going to Cal Poly, luckily. And, he ended up being my coach at the club team in middle school, and I realized how good he was, and then you know, something I wanted to be like as a player. Okay, question four. Music taste. What do you got on the iPod right now? What are you listening to? Is it true that you're a country music fan? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I've actually, while I respect country music, it's not really my thing. It's uh, not really your being thing. Being on a basketball team, you're kind of... Uh, Drawn into hip hop and rap just because of the. I'm on a basketball the, team and I, I don't listen to a lot of hip hop. And rap. That's true. I guess my generation is really into hip hop. A lot of guys. Um, okay. I really like hip hop. Uh, some rock on there. Even some oldies. Uh, Beatles and Beach Boys have made, made its way onto my. Uh, onto Beatles my and iPod. Beach Boys. I've yeah. learned something new about this. Okay. Let's think back here. Question five and wrap this little little session up here. On a road trip, in the bus. Who is the most lively guy? What, what, what keeps that bus going? What, what, you know, what, 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 what's special about your road trips? What do you look forward to? It has to be the, the East Coast guys, Will and Amari. They are the, they are the characters of the team. They make everyone laugh. Uh, we all get into it, but Amari and Will are definitely the, the, the clowns of the team, I guess. What do they clown on you about? Are you ever in any, any, any D road? You know, I'm kind of quiet back there. They don't really pick on me a ton, which is nice, but I'm sure uh, my time will come. Okay, well, I'll let them know that you feel like you're a little bit. Uh, you know, not, they, they, they focus a little more time on you in the bus. Okay? All right, I appreciate, hey, I appreciate the time here today. Thanks, UC Davis game tonight. Let's go.